What's up everybody, Larissa Shanti here with Shanti Moves. If it's your first time to the channel, thank you so much for checking it out. Today, we're gonna to be going over dolphin pose, AKA Arda Pincha Myrasana. So dolphin pose is an awesome intro to inversion. So it's an inversion pose. And it really helps strengthen our upper body, our shoulder girdle, particularly our core, and things that we really need to build on in order to move into other poses like forearm stand or shoulder stand. So this is a great one. I'm gonna give you some modifications at the end. If you're interested, let's get down to the mat. All right, dolphin pose it is. So today we're gonna to do a little bit of a warm up to prep ourselves for dolphin pose. So if you want to be in cross-legged or on your knees like myself, whatever is good for you, let's take that option. Take your arms wide, take a nice deep inhale. And then on your exhale, take your right hand in, left hand on top, wrap them around, palms touching. If the palms don't wanna to touch, always an option to just grab opposite elbows here and kind of give yourself a little bit of a hug. If you're in full eagle arms, gently lift the elbows and then soften the shoulders down the back. Taking a few breaths, breathing in between the shoulder blades. Feeling that expansion in the back body. Then on your inhale, unravel those arms, take them wide. And then left hand comes in, right hand on top, wrap them around, either palms touching or grabbing opposite elbows. And gently lift those elbows up ever so slightly as you soften the shoulders down the back. Then take a few breaths in between those shoulder blades. Feeling the expansion in the back body. Feeling the shoulder blades spread away from each other on the inhale. And then unravel, take those hands wide. Maybe inhale, lift the heart and take the hands down. Let's come into a tabletop. And we're gonna take our two blocks here. Bring them about shoulder width apart. Make sure that there's enough space for a head to go in between them. Maybe just come with your hands on top of them for your tabletop. And then just drop one elbow down and then the other onto your blocks. Start to melt the heart down, bring the hands together. Head comes through the blocks. Now, if this is too intense for you and your shoulders, you can always just remove the blocks and just do it with your elbows on the mat. This time, breathing into the front sides of the armpits, opening a little bit there. And then inhale, coming back up. Now let's come up onto our knees. And we're gonna do a little awareness uh, exercise here. So let's take our block, or if you don't have a block, you can use a book, but make sure it's a nice thick book. We're gonna place the block right on the outside of our hip. And then bring your elbow and pin that block to your hip. Take your hand open wide. Pretend like you're holding a dinner plate. And then start to open that arm or take that hand behind you. You should feel an engagement starting to happen on kind of the bottom uh, outer side of your shoulder blade. 
in the serratus area. Good. Bring the hand forward. And then back. Feeling that engagement start to happen as you draw the hand behind you. Remember, you're holding a dinner plate. Good. And relax. Let's do one on the other side. So bring the block to your hip. Pin it in with the elbow. Holding a dinner plate. Opening the hand to the back. Good. Coming forward. And then again, taking it behind you, holding that dinner plate, feeling that engagement happen in the back, so kind of the bottom outer side of your shoulder blade. Good, and then release. So that's kind of where we want to be engaging when we're in our dolphin pose. We'll do one more prep. Come into your tabletop. Hands are underneath your shoulders. Knees are underneath your hips. And then just drop down onto your forearms. And then make sure your forearms are in a nice long line so the hands aren't splaying out or splaying in. Your pinkies are in line with your elbows creating nice little pencil arms. Good. And then you also want to make sure your elbows aren't splaying out. They're right in line with the shoulders. Good. From here, press down with your elbows, lift your heart, and spread your shoulder blades apart from each other. So it should feel like a broadening and a rounding happening in your upper back. If it helps you to visualize uh, your cat, like in your cat cows, coming to do that, and this is the action that we really need to happen in our dolphin. We, what we don't want to see is this collapsing into the shoulder girdle, because that's not going to be great for our shoulders. Good. So come with me again. Maybe drop it down, actually. Let's take a little bit of a rest in our child's pose. Take a few breaths here. You can take your elbows wide or bring them behind you, whatever feels more restorative. And then come back to your tabletop, hands under your shoulders at first. And then let's drop it down onto the forearms. Forearms in nice long line with the shoulders. Elbows are at shoulder width. And then let's send it back to a forearm plank. So coming onto the balls of the feet, see if you can press in round here, kind of drawing your belly button up and in. Gaze can be maybe in between the thumbs or down in front of you. Good. Taking a few breaths. And then release. Knees to the mat. Come to a child's pose, whatever variation feels better to you. Good. All right, now I'm actually gonna start with the modifications first this time. So let's do a strap. If you don't have a strap, you can uh, use a belt or a scarf, whatever it is. You can tie it in a knot or loop it, make it a nice loop. And you wanna make sure that loop is the same width as your shoulders. So take your arms, take them out like this, make sure your hands aren't going way out to the sides. If they come in a little bit closer, that's good. I'm actually gonna adjust mine to make it a little bit shoulder, uh, shorter. So being in a little bit more than out is gonna be better. We don't wanna be out, you'll see why. All right, so. Strap should be just above the elbows. And then come on to your forearms, like you're gonna be in your forearm plank. So measure your pinkies in line with your elbows, and then your elbows are at shoulder width, but you shouldn't be able to go any wider because of your belt being there. 
Good. Now send the legs back. Press and round. Bringing those shoulder blades apart, feeling your heart draw up in between the shoulder blades. Your core is engaged, your belly button is hugging up and in. Then from here, maybe start to walk the feet forward. It's okay if the knees are bent and you're on the balls of your feet. And then the idea is to get the hips over the shoulders if possible, or nearly there anyways. But if we're working somewhere here, that's fine too. What we really want to focus on is pressing down and kind of rounding the upper back slightly, engaging those key muscles in our shoulders to be able to do this nice and strong without a belt. And take the feet down, rest into your child's pose, whatever variation. I'm gonna take my belt away so I can bend my elbows out to the side. And then coming back up. So that was pose, our uh, dolphin variation number one, using the strap. And the most important part is building that shoulder strength here, right? So if you've seen dolphin pose before, you've seen people with nice long legs, feet are flat on the earth. Uh, that's beautiful, but not super essential to the pose, right? So the essential component is building the strength in the arms and in the shoulders, and the length in the hamstrings and getting those feet flat on the mat will come with time and practice. So let's do second variation. Second variation, we're gonna take our block, bring your block onto your mat, and then bring your fingers on the outside of your block, and you're creating an L. So the, the the um, thumbs are on the bottom side, fingers are on the uh, shorter side. Drop your forearms down, make sure that they're at shoulder width, and then come back to your plank, press and round, draw the belly button up and in, and then try to walk the feet forward. Again, making it's fine if the knees are bent and the heels are rising. If you want to play around here, you can start to lengthen through the legs, maybe send the heels down, walk them forward, but that's going to be quite challenging. Good. So keep pressing those fingers into the block, and that also creates that engagement we need in the outsides of our shoulders. And then lower the knees down and take a rest. Coming to your child pose that feels most restorative. So I like taking my elbows wide, but if you want, you can take your hands behind you or just long, whatever feels better to you here. Beautiful, coming back up. All right, now we're gonna try doing it without any props. So let's come onto all fours. Bring your forearms down. Elbows are underneath shoulders. You can always check by grabbing opposite elbows like this. Press your palms down. Fingers are spread nice and wide. And then Send your legs back, coming into a forearm plank. Try to lift up through the belly button, press and round through the upper back. Once you are engaged in your core and your shoulders, start to walk the feet forward. Bringing the hips over the shoulders, knees can stay bent. You can keep those heels lifted. Or if you wanna play around lengthening the legs, sending the heels down towards the earth, and walking forward. Good. Now gaze can be straight down in front of you or back at your thighs, whatever feels better on your neck. And then relax the knees down. Whew, take a break. So as you can see, 
This is a very strong pose, takes a lot of strength. But this is also a great pose to start practicing if you want to get more into your inversion, so into your headstand, into your forearm stand. Uh, this pose is gonna really help build the integration and integrity you need for those poses. And headstand will be coming next. So get your dolphin down and then join me for a headstand in the next one. If you got value from this, a like and a subscribe is also so, so, so appreciated. It really helps this channel grow. Until next time. Things that we need to kind of work on and get um, strong in our... Okay, one more or two more. Pick my nose. Keep picking my nose on camera.